All right, so we are now in uh, Riffin. Uh, today's video is a follow-on from the previous one. Uh, all we're doing today is we're shooting another music video for this fella. Uh, his his EP, what's today's song called again? Uh, Exit the Moors. Uh, Exit the Moors. It's a little bit of a, a more chill song. What you're going to see today is that our equipment's going to be relatively similar. There might be a few differences in equipment, mm -hmm. and I'll point that out to you. Uh, but I'll show you how I kind of, how I've done certain shots, how I've I've made it to look a certain way, just depending on what equipment I've um, used. Almost tripped over something there. And our location is an abandoned slaughterhouse. Am I right? Yeah, old farm slaughterhouse. Old farm vibes, slaughterhouse. Yeah. A dairy kind of farm as well. Yeah, you'll, yeah. See, we'll, you'll be able to see that. So we're we're definitely going for a more uh, sad, but it, the, the the music itself is definitely uh, much more. Laid back, we could say. Somber, yeah. Somber. That's the word, not laid back. Laid back sounds like you're going to sleep or something. So, as I mentioned earlier, today is a more somber song, so you kind of have to adjust to your music a little bit. The equipment that I usually use is a Ulanti phone holder. Uh, what this does is it holds my mic, it also holds uh, the tripod underneath. Um, so I've got a mini tripod that I use for vlogging and I've got the main tripod that I use for um, sitting on a normal tripod. It's a really, really good bit, bit of kit, but we're not using it today for one very simple reason. I want smooth shots. It's a more somber tone. I want something to be... Uh, I don't want it to jump around like uh, previous music videos that I've done before. So I used this in Tedsy's music video, Gangster Dreams. Um, it's amazing because this phone comes in with an inbuilt gimbal as well on top of this, which makes things ultra smooth, like unbelievably smooth. So this is really, really gonna have an effect today. Also today, we're gonna be looking at um, normal slow-mos. Um, you'll find that you don't need a gimbal for this because slow-mos are slow-mos. If you move things fast enough and slow it down, it really, really, really looks smooth. All right, so we're gonna go hit a montage. Um, let's hit, hit the music, I guess, maybe, yeah. So another thing I mentioned in the last video was a panoramic lens. Uh, so in the previous music video shoot that I did with Tom, which was Abstract Aughty, um, we played around with, um, and he probably doesn't realise this, we played around with an, a panoramic lens, and that was our shot in the, you know, the abandoned building, the second one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know how that looks really kind of like... That was a panoramic lens. Now, I did mention you can buy a panoramic lens kit, or alternatively, your phone can have a panoramic lens. Now, I haven't been using a panoramic lens currently, and we might play around with that in a bit. Yeah. I'll show you the difference between the two. You can decide which one's better, but panoramic lens, extremely, extremely good to use. I should also point out that if you are struggling to find a panoramic lens, it may be referred to ultra-wide. That's what it was referred to on my phone. Uh, one thing that I just figured there, or remembered uh, to, to do, that's extremely, extremely important, I've mentioned before, and I'm having a problem with it now, is exposure. Uh, exposure basically changes all the time depending where you are. So we're, there's a dark room behind us now, and right now we're in a room that's filled with light. So to combat this issue sometimes, because your phone may change exposure all the time, a lot of phone cameras, if you hold down on the screen, you can uh, lock in exposure. Some phones, if you hold them down, it'll lock in focus at the same time. Thankfully, my phone doesn't actually lock in focus which is good in some ways because sometimes I might want to sort out the exposure from further away and, and sort out the focus from n nearby, which is what I, I actually, that exact problem I had um, in that darker room. Another thing that you may notice is the way I move. This, this, uh, look, look at him, he's a model here, isn't he? <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry, I just, I sorry. just heard singing over there. You hear that? Anyway, um, back on topic, you may also notice um, that I do certain, like uh, I move a certain way. So I uh, effectively, I move in a V shape towards um, Tom, who is a focus, and I do that in anything. No matter how creative, if, if, it's, if it's full of energy, if it's calm, if it's got a gimbal, you know, I move in a V shape. And the reason is, is because you come close to your, you come close to your person, and then you move away the other way. And that looks really, really good. Do that, whatever, you, whatever kind of style of video it is. If it's, you know, shaken about, you always move in that V shape. That's an extremely, extremely, extremely useful um, thing. It's an extremely useful thing. Oh, no, no. Let go. Let go. 
Okay, we're now here. Uh, we're just outside the um, abandoned slaughterhouse. Um, the next uh, thing to do is to fly a drone. So we're going to have just a few drone shots. Um, so the shot, just just to clarify, is running um, beside Tom. You're, you're, you're looking at, at Tom as he's running into the slaughterhouse. But the beautiful thing with the drone is you don't have to run and you get an extremely smooth shot. Anything you want to say, Tom? Oh, well, it, depending on when this comes out, the Hills of Talking EP out now. Go subscribe to Mr. Oh, Brady. Thank you there. very much. I will put his channel link at the very least in the description. Thank you. Exit the moors. Exit the moors. That's what this one is. Uh, and I'll see you around. Ah. <laughs>